Visions, which morphed off into the band Never Enough. And um, around 2009, we had pretty much two records worth of material done with our producer. And at that time, we'd had a couple of different offers for different tours for Never Enough, but it just wasn't going to happen because Keith had gone through the ringer with 18 Visions, with Throwdown, and he was just like, I'm not touring anymore. So my producer sat me down and said, Look, you need to start a new project. We've got the records, let's do it. So fast forward six months later, um, our first tour and first show was actually with The Used. All right, In 2009, okay. we moved on to Dope. From Dope became Corn, became Domin, 69 Eyes, The Birthday Massacre. I mean, we came out the gate swinging, oh. for sure. <laughs> but we had all been around for a long time, you know? Yeah. I mean, seen kids since we were like 16. All right, so even okay. at 26, you know, it's like, we've been doing it for 10 years already, man. <laughs> Showing the ropes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, you've had two successful albums uh, so far. How would you differentiate the difference between them? Um, the first one was pretty raw, I would say. You familiar with Motley Crue? Uh, a little bit. Not a little much. bit? Okay. Um, Metallica? Oh, yes. Okay. All right, check this out. Um, Kill Em All was very raw, but it was still kind of kind of naive in a sense. And then Ride the Lightning came out. It's like two different bands almost. Mm -hmm. It's kind of where we're at. Our first record was like, oh, that's cool. I mean, even the second one, I listened to it and I'm like, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I would differentiate them. The second one's a lot darker, a lot heavier, but uh, we're really big on the anthemic arena rock kind of stuff. That's just, that's what we do. That's our thing. Okay. Yeah. You know? We like we like people seeing people chanting, you know, <laughs> fists in the air, fingers in the air, everyone going crazy. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, what's involved in a typical day of touring? Um, Typical day of touring, let's see. Well, here in the UK, it's actually been, um, we've been sharing a bus with the Defiled, so a typical day is trying to not let the bus smell so bad, for one. <laughs> we've named it the uh, Devil's Lounge. Okay. <laughs> um, um, then consists of trying to wake everybody up because the Defiled keeps us up till about six in the morning. We'll call in how yeah, and then they nicely <laughs> fall asleep and we're all like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, a lot of, I mean, press things of this nature, um, sound checks. I try to get out there and meet anyone that we ever see out there. Um, because I'm a singer though, I kinda, I like to do my vocal warm-ups, you know, real, real boring stuff, <laughs> chain strings, I'm not really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the typical stuff. Yeah, 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 that's what you gotta do. <laughs> um, Halloween was a few days ago, did you do anything exciting for it? Um, yeah, we came over to UK. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's fair enough. <laughs> right. It was funny, we do this paint thing we've been doing for a while, and everyone's like, did you guys dress up? And I was like, <laughs> we just told them, yeah, we didn't want to kill the mystique that was actually like, nah, this, we do this all the time. <laughs> so, um, nope, didn't really do anything special other than give the Defiled a hard time. Oh, okay, because it's funny, actually, the next, <laughs> the next question says you're currently talking with the Defiled, how's that been so far? <laughs> um, it's been good. Uh, we put together last night, actually, that I'm the American version of AV, AVD. I oh. call him Alex, I know the name. <laughs> I know the inside scoop. But, uh, yeah, it's actually been really, really good. You know, I mean, we're, we're kind of terrified at first when we came over. You know, we heard all kinds of stories about him, and we were like, oh, it's going to be crazy, right? <laughs> it's been good. Oh, it's been great. Good guys. I mean, we, we've been with Revoker. We share dressing rooms with Revoker. We share the bus with the Defiled. And um, I mean, we've made great friends out of it. We'd love to see them come over to the States with us because we're kind of at that same level, you know? And I mean, every night I'm like, you guys got to come over. You guys got to come over. <laughs> you know, it's, it's been an honor to be quite honest, you know, because they're one of my favorite new bands, too. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I mean, I love it. Their new CD, Grave Times, is just unreal. It is a really good album. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, which artists inspired you to become the band that you are today? Um, it's weird. I missed the curve on, like, a lot of bands because I was either too young or, like, just kind of it. It already happened or it was barely happening, but uh, I'm a huge Cure fan. Um, I love Nine Inch Nails, Depeche Mode. I mean, then we go back to bands like Guns N' Roses, Metallica, Motorhead. I mean, all those bands. I'm a, I'm a mixture of things because oh, I like okay. everything for different stuff. I loved the Sex Pistols and the Ramones because they just didn't give a fuck. Can I say that? You can do that. Okay, sorry. Right. I didn't think about that. <laughs> you know, they didn't. For them, they didn't give a fuck. But then there was heavy stuff that I liked. But then I loved big arena rock stuff like bands like Guns N' Roses and Motley Crue. You know, so it was kind of 
tidbits of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, what was it like filming for your music video, Machine Gun Kisses? You know, that video was awesome because of all the cool cars we had in it. Yeah. I saw the video just briefly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was intense. I mean, we had to... It, first, we started the day after Christmas, and it was at like 5 in the morning in the middle of New Mexico in a desert. It was cold as hell. We had these really cool cars. And um, we just basically raced them all day. And we you know, <laughs> raced each other, tore things up, broke things. I mean, not much unlike a show, you know? <laughs> we've, been, we've been behaving on this tour because we don't want to get deported. <laughs> so we've been real chill, but it's usually a, it's a mess. <laughs> Um, if you were to put on a festival, who would you have play and why? If we were to put on a festival, let's see, I would have us open. Okay. Because, you know, I'm a businessman. <laughs> then I would have The Defiled. Okay. Because that's just how we roll, man. <laughs> family. Um, my friend's band, actually, Combi Crest. All right. I put okay. on there because Trevor and I are in another band together. And, I don't know, man, I love Kiss. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, I would put Kiss on there. I put Molly <laughs> Crew. I bring back Nine Inch Nails. It sounds about right. Oh, Nine Inch Nails, yeah, they were really good actually. Yeah, yeah, I loved them, man. I mean, they were a big part of what this band does, big time. Good, good. Um, many thanks to this since Feast Day, and do you have any last words for your fans? Um, for anyone that is a fan of us now, thank you. If you're just barely becoming a fan, thank you, because I can't thank you enough. And it's been an honor to be here in the UK, and we want to thank the Defile and Revoker for having us. Thank you guys very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get covered in paint now. Just right. For the show. <laughs> we might have to do that, so watch out. Thank you very much. Machine gun kisses.